Hi, my name is Mutsidisi Dikate, but my friends call me Tidi. I was raised here in Gwadwa, a small village called Tabong in the Free State. My mom and I came to live with my grandmother after my parents separated. I was only 10 years old when my dad left. It's common for children to be raised without a father. I think this is why so many girls my age and younger look for older men. They are looking for love, attention and warmth, but those men don't love them, they are just using them. Growing up in Kwakwa wasn't easy. My mom didn't work until she obtained her qualification as a preschool teacher. Like most children in this village, we survived on a bare minimum. My mom and grandmother always encouraged me to do well at school and do what I can to excel in life. I guess that's what makes me so blessed because many young girls don't get that kind of support I found out about Save the Children at school. They gave me the opportunity to talk to other young people and encourage them to stay in school. It helped me grow and I loved it. That opportunity inspired me to continue encouraging other children. Hence, I have also started a reading club for young children to help them learn English. My Girl Talk sessions are part of non-profit organizations I started called Bet She Can and URCSA Young Women of Work. Too often girls say they can't do this or that, but I say I bet she can. I am willing to pull it all on the line to beg any young girl to succeed because they can. One of the issues that always comes up is girls feel ashamed to go to school when they have their period. Many girls can't afford pads or tampons, so they use leaves or cloth, but this is not hygienic and they don't last the whole school day. Girls miss out on school and this means many don't finish school, they get depressed and the poverty in this area is so great that girls are often tempted to sleep with older men for things like clothes, airtime or groceries. They think if they get pregnant, then they can hook a man and he will take care of them. I hope that I can make a difference in my community and inspire other girls to educate themselves and not rely on men. As a young woman who's very active and passionate about helping girls, Yes, I, I do seminars and other various events where instead of asking money, I ask the entry to be a pack of sanitary pads. This is a donation to the girls of Akofang, Rise Young Women's Club. Whenever they need sanitary pads, this should always be available. No more girls missing classes or whatsoever due to periods. Here are the pads and we'll come again to provide for more once these are finished. Thank you very much, ma'am. I really want the girls of Gwagwa and Africa to feel loved and supported beyond measure to achieve their dreams.